afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another Propaganda Cast Addendum with me, your host, Imperial Dane. Covering another week of the Balance Preview Patch. And we actually had some movement here this week. We actually had some changes, not a lot, but some of them were noticeable. For starters, the church was made... Well, well I'll stick with some of the orders, sort of grand to big. We, Churchill's been made slightly cheaper. Cromwell's made a bit easier to hit, since that was rather easy to get a lot of, and that was also at the same time a bit hard to hit, which was a bit problem. A bit of a problem. Also, they've changed that crush can doesn't apply to well crushing humans don't apply to medium tanks, which is a bit of an odd thing. When it's really only the M10 and the Cromwell who really were sort of the extremes, so they probably should look into making them less crushable or crush able to crush units rather you know taking away from every other tank as well which just seems a bit strange to be honest rather heavy-handed if anything the americans got the 81 millimeter instead of the 60 millimeter but that's just for visual purposes though they still got the bug where it just basically when they're walking around with it it still appears like a german mortar so uh, for all intents and purposes that didn't really fix anything which is a bit unfortunate the bigger changes of this patch are basically bundle grenades for the Wehrmacht and the Oberkommando rest for the Oberkommando rest it just means the damage is brought up but the Wehrmacht means it now has better AOE and better damage it means basically you know it's actually a bundle grenade now that has an actual impact on the enemy when thrown since the previous one was basically sort of more model for you know fighting German squads a small ones where you know they weren't really fighting small squads, they were fighting big ones. Five man, six man, and in that sense, the bun grenade just does not cut it. So, that's basically been fixed. And lastly, Panzer Gunnery, Stormtroopers, Falschmegas, and Obstlands are now much more used to actually, you know, be throwing the bloody thing compared to previously, where it was sort of, you know, you only threw it because you had to throw something at the enemy, but you weren't really hoping to do any sort of serious damage. So that's, I think, going to be one of the bigger impacts. Then, in terms of what else sort of seen in the pack, I don't think there's sort of really much else. I mean, we're seeing more, obviously, more from the Americans. I still think it needs to be somehow nerfed, just made us a bit harder to reach because it can still give you quite an advantage in the early game. That's the Americans, and thus, I do feel it's a bit nasty. And, again, should be looked into. But beyond that, I don't really see any sort of, when the matches I've served, any sort of huge changes. Or Commander West players still play, you know, like they've got pantry tricks on the full kind of and thusly aren't succeeding frightfully well. And they really haven't done much against to make the Panthers and the Art Panther, you know, more useful, which is still basically the big problem. And also a bit the problem for the Wehrmacht Tier 4, again, that the Panther just doesn't quite cut it for the amount of resource investment you need to pour into it so again that could probably do with a bit of a look into but certainly making more out of the band grenades is a good start otherwise you know give the orbital commander rest a 250 and half track you know would also think be a rather nice move i mean they gave the americans a mortar so the orbital commander rest having a half track would be you know quite nice beyond that there's not much to sort of say here there was a tournament but didn't quite manage to catch many of the matches so bit hard to sort of say there, and sadly there weren't any replays sort of saved up or put up anywhere, so I have no real way of sort of, you know, making any analysis on that, I'm afraid. But there you go, just a bit of a brief episode again, bundle grenades, yay, medium crush, longer crushing humans, less yay, and just a bit why, and some other small changes here, but overall nothing sort of really earth-shattering beyond the bundle, bundle grenades, nothing really sort of, you know, makes your eye go, good lord. So that's only something there. We'll see if there's something bigger next week, and looks like they're so far sort of sticking to like first in June, which means either, you know, first week or the second week. If they're second week, there'll probably be a few more changes, and once it hits, there'll be war spoils to go along with it, so that's also something to look forward to there. But that'll be it for this week's report on the balance preview. This will be Imperial Dane signing off. Thank you all for joining in. Hopefully this has been a bit enlightening. And again... Not really much this will say beyond again. Burn grenades. Woo. So thank you all and see you for the next one next week. And of course a bunch of other videos in between. This is Imperial Deng saying cheers.